This walkthrough was brought to you by GameAnyone.com and Spellup.nl. Uh, we're going to do a let's play of Big Mansion. I've played a little bit of it. I know what to do. Um, we're not going to watch the instructions here. I will zoom in a bit so it's better to see. I think this is okay. I don't know what the real side is, where you can play it, but I play it on Spellapunter now. Uh, the purpose of this game is to try to buy this house as fast as you can in the least amount of time. It's the most expensive one, but that's where you're aiming for. Uh, you try to buy it at a low price, all the small house it, houses here, cheap, medium, expensive. And every time you get more money, you can go to medium or even expensive and then finally go to this house. So we will start off with cheap. And you try to buy them at a low price and try to sell them at a real high price. So you will see what I mean. Here, that's too expensive. That's too expensive too. Uh, we can buy that here now the price and the value of this property is going up and here it goes down so we sell it every time when one pops out of the ground you want to buy it if you have enough money uh, you can see a little bit when it is going to change because it will go slower like now and here then it turns red and then you need to sell it or else they go down real fast and you will lose money on the property And this is pretty much what you need to do till you have enough money to uh, yeah buy the big property. And if we have enough money, we can start buying this one. And first, your biggest priority is get most money out of this one. Because the prices are higher, so you will lose more money if it goes wrong. That for one. And here I wasn't looking too good. And the whole purpose of this game is to try to multitask as much as you can. And as fast as you can. And yeah. This is one of my first walkthroughs I'm doing with speaking. I don't know if I will keep doing it because as you can hear I'm not a real great speaker. And yeah, that's pretty much why I rather not do it. Uh, too bad we couldn't get the big mansion. Let's try again. Pretty much I forgot to go to the bigger houses fast enough. This is the time it takes and the time you get. Here now it's a lot cheaper but we get less time I think. So we will now try to go to the biggest houses that we can get as fast as we can.
You see what I just did there? That uh, that thing was already out of the ground, and then I still bought it. That's just because yeah, you can better have one that is going up than try to uh, yeah. even it if you don't buy it when it comes out of the ground then you can still have a small profit of it it will not be that big because yeah in the thing it goes up it will eventually drop faster so you still not lose money but you get less money for uh, the value or at, least, or at least for the thing it stands come on that's what we want here the prices are of the biggest or of the bigger ones they go up a lot faster and a lot more so the bigger ones are pretty much better to have but everything goes faster and I don't really know what to talk about for the rest of the video <laughs> Uh, I can talk about a little bit of the games I played recently. I am now playing a bit of uh, uh, what was the guy Sam Fisher, you know Splinter Cell Conviction, and the game I bought was Red Dead Redemption. And I'm playing that a lot, or at least I have already completed it. The main story for yeah a little time and I still need to do the farming missions with your son uh, oh sorry uh, spoiler <laughs> you will get your son back but I guess it's not really a big spoiler but okay uh, 50 yay we completed it okay I'm not gonna submit my high score because I don't give a fuck <laughs> and this was the playthrough and I hope game anyone uh, will uh, live uh, long and prosper <laughs> and if you guys want one of those logos I may I make I will show you. You can always PM me. Uh, let's go to a small form, or at least to the game anyone form. And I started a bit of a shout out. I made something for Red Clock, the moving Red Clock. Here it is. This is, by the way, just add, so if you don't want it, you can just leave. And I make these things myself with GIMP. And if you guys want one, or I can try to have a look, and maybe for some credits I will make you one. Or if I, if you be lucky, and if I feel uh, like it, I can make it for free. So good luck, have fun. And let's stop the video right here.